Um, I was wondering what brings you to Canada right now. Is it some particular occasion in your business year? I think why should Oliver is coming? He's visiting different centers around the world. I can fill you in on most of the details of about the society and dates and times and so on. You might prefer to ask to a little more about the philosophy of the Very well. Okay. Um, I understand that this is uh, an extension of Hindu religion. Is that not correct? No, it's not. Does it have any of the basic tenets of the Hindu religion? <clears throat> there is no such word as Hindu religion. You do not know. There is no such word as Hindu religion. At least in the Vedas. The religion is translated into Sanskrit as characteristic. Religion is not a kind of being, just like chemical composition. A sugar is sweet, and that is religion. Sugar must be sweet. Sugar cannot be pungent. Or chili must be pungent. If chili is sweet, you reject it. And sugar is pungent, you reject it. Similarly, uh, our uh, Vedic system is to train the human being to the ultimate goal of his life. <coughs> that system is called Varnasam Dharma. Gradually training the person how to become perfect human being and understand the goal of his life, uh, that is our activity. It is not meant for any particular sect or particular nation, no. It is meant for the whole human society. How to make them perfect in the goal of his life. Through what means do you train the human being to become, to achieve his ultimate goal? Yeah, to understand his spiritual identification. At the present moment, the, in this age, all over the world, things are passing on, on the bodily concept of life. But we are not this body. That is the defect of modern civilization, that there are two things, one, the body and the moving force, which moving the body. But they are taking care of the body, but they have no information of the, what is the moving force. They are presenting some foolish theories that the body is moving by chemical composition, by this, that, but actually they do not know what is there. Uh, the chemical composition is, uh, what is that? And, I'm Kenstein or something. <laughs> this police thing something. The thing, the body, by some chemical and physical combination and electric power, although they have not been able to do so, but still they theorize like that. In this way, the whole human society is going on. 
in that deep, ignorant black. Uh, that is the defect of the human society at the present moment. And we are trying to mend this defect by this Krishna consciousness movement. People are trying to understand. And our books have been very nicely received by the educated circle. We have got so many books uh, about. For the time we have got over 54 books like this. Uh, this book is selling very nicely. Bhagavad Gita as it is. We have printed a recent tradition, uh, 350,000 copies. That is finished. Uh, again, we are going to print 500,000 copies. So, it is a great science. Uh, meant for all human beings, not for the Hindus or the Muslims or the Christians. Science, mathematics is meant for everyone. So it is spiritual science. Everyone should take advantage of it. Otherwise, what was the uh, use of my... I have not come here to preach Hinduism. Then why you should take Hinduism? You are already Christian. They want to use up replacing Christian religion to Hindu religion. We have no service. We are not after increasing the number of Hindus. We are after making the human being perfect in knowledge. That is all. Do you believe then that there is more than one way to There is all the way, only one way. Just like the spirit soul is within you and within me. Yes, your skin may be white, my skin may be colored, but within the spirit soul, what is there in you, what is that is in me also. There is nothing change on account of the body. Therefore, to understand the spirit soul, there is only one way. There is no second way. Because it is not experimental, it is already there. If it is based on experiment and observation, then my experiment, your experiment may be diverse. But it is a fact that the soul is there. And as soon as the soul is gone from the body, the body is a dead man, a lump of man. That we have to understand. Any gentleman, any uh, sensible man can understand it. That soul is there, although we are changing body. That I, you were a child, that's a fact. But why is that child's body? Now your body is different. Is it not a fact? What do you think? So why is that body, your child's body? Material, okay. Material, I'm going to say, when you are on the lap of your mother, the body was so small. Now you are a young girl and you are so, where is that small body? That means you have changed body. But your mother knows that you are the same, my child. Because you have grown up or you have changed your body, your mother will not cry, so where is my child? She knows that my child is there, that she has changed body. So why these people do not understand this plain truth? Suppose you have come in this dress, next moment you come in another dress. But if I know you, I will not mistake. Because you have changed your dress. Similarly, we are changing our dress. From baby to child, child to boy, boy to young man, young man to middle-aged man, constantly change every moment. Medical science also say the blood corpus should change every moment. So we are changing our body every moment. 
But still, we cannot understand that on account of change of body, the living force within the body does not change. Is there any difficulty to understand? No. no. Um, does that mean then that um, the basic, your basic self, your basic spirit then is innocent, basically? Like it's, if it's the same spirit throughout your life from the moment you're born on, then it is innocent and you can, you can achieve uh, fullness? No, first of all, let us accept that the basic principle is the soul. Now, whether in innocent or while that we shall consider later. But first of all, the basic power is the spirit soul. First of all, we have to understand that the spirit soul is there always, although we are changing, but this first principle has but they do not understand. This education is lacking. Do you advocate then that um, one deny the body, like comforts and so forth, in order to... No, I deny the body. It's like you are putting some type of dress. So dress is not unimportant. But real importance is you, the person. So where is that education about the real person? They are simply engrossed with the dress. This is going on. Such kind of mentality is there even in the cats and dogs. He is also thinking, I am this body. The if a human being does not understand this fact, that he is not this body, he is changing his body, but he is spiritual. Then he is no better than the cats and dogs. So we do not want to keep the human society in the category of cats and dogs. We want to raise them to the real understanding of his identification. That is our mission. It is neither Hindu religion or Muslim religion, it is science. Okay. Um, I notice all your followers obviously dress similarly and so forth. So um, we cannot get many followers because everyone is under this impression and this body. Mm-hmm. And to get him released from this conception, is not so easy job. So we cannot expect many thousands or millions. Only selected, fortunate people will understand. But everyone can understand it. It is a very simple thing. But the modern education has made them so dull bred. They cannot understand either do they try to understand. Matter subject matter is very simple thing. That I am changing body, but I, in spite of my change of body, I am the spirit so existing. This is the first understanding. I am not dead on account of my body being finished. Huh? My childhood body is finished. My boyhood body is finished. My youthful body is finished. But I am exist. I can remember that I was in such body, I was in such body, in such circumstances. When I was a child, I was talking like this, I was jumping like this. But because that body is finished, I cannot do that. Now I have got a different body, I cannot jump like a child. The, the simple truth. But I know that I was jumping. That is not dream, that's a fact. But we are educated in such a foolish way that we cannot understand this simple truth. That has to be amended. Otherwise, there is no question of enlightenment in the human society. Do you feel 
know that it's any help, uh, for instance, um, one of the followers here mentioned that the uh, university here in, in Toronto is um, teaching your folks and so forth. Do you feel that, that um, any contact with with your ideas, well, not necessarily, but it's not with, my these, idea, with these basic bad. truths, with these basic truths? It's not basic. my idea. Do you think that that um, is helping people realize themselves, or do they have to go into a more... Yes, that you can ask my students. We have not dragged them. I am Indian, poor India. So why they are sticking to me? Ask them. They do that. When was your first contact with the Hare Krishna? Mm -hmm. How did you come in contact with it? Well, reading devotees and reading books, we had pure books. Mm -hmm. But we read also, we read these books and not just for us. Uh, Not necessarily trying to um, get a large number of devotees, but you think there are a few people who are yet ready to accept? Yes, anyone, anyone we can accept. Mm -hmm. If he is interested to become learned in the subject matter, he is welcome. Necessarily going into a temple and, and um, concentrating on your teachings. Yeah. It's a kind of education. Mm -hmm. So to get that education, you have to go to the institution. If you want to get education, you can't speak about it. You have to. Um, it's not. Yes, you have to come to the place where this is being taught. It doesn't mean you have to give up everything. You have to take it from the recognized part. Does it ever end? Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a... No, it's a... No, no, you have to just try it out here. It means it's no end. More and more. No. But living in the temple is not necessary to engage in Christian conscious activities. You can engage outside and also be a man who really is. Yes. I mean, just visiting the temple, chanting Hare Krishna. Do you consider it then, your movement then basically as more of an educational movement than yeah. a religious movement? Educate. It is a religious, but it is not a man made religious. Our, as I have already explained, the, our idea of religion means that like the sugar, it must be sweet. It is not that in Europe sugar is not sweet, in India it is sweet. Sugar, wherever it is, it is sweet. Similarly, the soul, the spirit soul is the same everywhere. So he, the spirit soul, is now embodied within this material body and he is suffering on account of this material body. So we are teaching everyone how to get out of this material body and stay in his original spiritual body. This is our real moment. This is another way, another name is liberation. We are suffering within this body. Our suffering means on account of this body. So if there is such science, how to uh, continue our life without changing body? So that science we are teaching. It is purely education. Do you believe 
understand that when your physical body dies, yeah. that your spiritual body... That I've already explained, that yeah. your physical body as child but is dead, gone. Mm -hmm. How you are living? The simple thing, you cannot understand, where is this child body? Where is it? Can you answer? Child's body? Yeah, you had a body, a small child's body. Is it not? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Idea? You are a child? Yes, yes. So where is a child's body? Well, he says it's chained. Chained or another body of God. Chain means another body. If you raise your child, you get another. So it is simple truth. So you have got another body or another dress, but you are still living. The simple truth they cannot understand as they are advanced in education. Does that mean then that um, once the immediate corporeal body is, is dead, right? The, the one that you have... Yeah. We have to conclude that this is this part. Logic that my I have changed my body, still I am living. Therefore, when I change this body, I shall live. But this is the logic. Does your, then does your spiritual body keep the same training that you... Same, that is other. It's like you are in a different type of dress, I am in different type of dress. That's another thing. The dress may be changed in different time. But I, the owner of the dress, is the same. Now, the person, the same person, when is dressed as a high court judge, he is dealing indifferently in the high court. And the same person, after giving up his garment of high court judge, he talks to his wife and children indifferently talking. The wife does not address him, my lord. Hey, why calls her, Mr. John? John, why are you are doing that? He, he, she has no respect. As he respects, he, he gets in the court. Man is the same. The circumstance is different. So that means then that um, our society then that gives certain people certain status just because of their job or whatever, that's, that's not correct. Yes. We must come to the correct position of our spiritual life, then it is perfection of life. Otherwise, it's very wrong. Uh, if the husband comes at home and the wife calls him by the name, John, come here. Oh, you are not addressing my Lord? He will be ludicrous. He might be my Lord in the court. But when he is in the family, the wife calls him by the name. So we, our, with the dress, change of dress, we are changing our names, circumstances, uh, thoughts and everything. Therefore we find differentiation. American, Indian, Hindu, Muslim, black, white, this. These are all designations of the dress. And therefore we do not agree. As soon as I accept, identify myself with the dress, there will be disagreement. And as soon as we, every one of us, we know that this is superficial, this is dress, and spirit so, then there will be agreement. Samasya Vesu Bhūtesu, kind of this verse, Brahma Bhūta Prasanna Pāna Sūta Tīna Pāna Tīna Samasya Vesu Bhūtesu Madhvakti Navati Param. So without this understanding, they have opened United Nations, keeping them cats and dogs, and they are simply barking, that's all. This is that. For the last forty years, simply that barking. What achievement is there? Huh? And in your country, the, who is the president? Give the black man the same liberty? 
Main part. Equal right. But actually, there, there is some tension, black and white, because they are not on the spiritual platform. In Canada, Prabhupada, it's the French and the English. Everywhere, some tension. The Catholic, the Protestant, the black, the white, the Hindu, the Muslim. That must go on, because if we accept on the platform of dress or body, then there must be a Well, it is that much and explain to them. One who is thus transcendentally situated at once realizes the Supreme Brahman and becomes fully joyful. He never laments nor desires to have anything. He is equally disposed to every living being. In that state he attains pure devotional service. Equally disposed as soon as he knows that I am of this body, I am free so that there is no distinction. Just like two Americans go to India. So when they understand that we are Americans, immediately their interests become one, although they are in the foreign country. They decide to others. Similarly, as soon as we come to the spiritual platform, there is no such distinction as black, white, Hindu, Muslim, Christian, everything changes. Sama Sarvi Shuddhi Kaisu. You are reading the part one? Four. To the impersonalist, achieving the Brahma Bhutta stage, becoming one with the Absolute, is the last word. But for the personalist or pure devotee, one has to go still further to become engaged in pure devotional service. This means that one who is engaged in pure devotional service to the Supreme Lord is already in a state of liberation called Brahma Bhuta, oneness with the Absolute. Without being one with the Supreme, the Absolute, one cannot render service of him. In the Absolute conception, there is no difference between the served and the servitor, yet the distinction is there in a higher spiritual sense. That's right. In the material concept of life, when one works for sense gratification, there is misery. But in the absolute world, when one is engaged in pure devotional service, there is no misery. The devotee in Krishna consciousness has nothing to lament or desire. Since God is full, a living entity who is engaged in God's service in Krishna consciousness becomes also full of himself. He is just like a river cleansed of all dirty water. Because a pure devotee has no thought other than Krishna, he is naturally always joyful. He does not lament for any material loss or gain because he is full in service of the world. He has no desire for material enjoyment because he knows that every living entity is the fragmental part and parcel of the Supreme Lord and therefore eternally a servant. He does not see in the material world someone is higher and someone is lower. Higher and lower positions are ephemeral, and a devotee has nothing to do with ephemeral appearances or, di- or disappearances. For him, stone and gold are of equal value. This is the Brahma Bhutta stage, and this stage is attained very easily. Sir, by the this people. Brahma Bhutta stage, the spiritual stage, we want to bring everyone to this spiritual stage. That is in Samasa. We are not on the material stage. Therefore it is a little difficult to understand. Everyone is on the material stage, but we are working on the spiritual stage. But the spirit and matter, we can distinguish. Without the spirit, the body is nothing but lump of matter. That you can the spirit is there, the matter is there, but we are so dull, we do not understand what is that spirit. That is the divinity of the modern society. This is the most important thing. Without the spirit, the body cannot move. They are daily experiencing that without spirit, the body is nothing, decomposed matter. But still, they are simply licking up that decomposed matter without taking care of the spiritual. This is the most defective position of the modern society. 
So it is not a Hindu religion or Christian religion, it is a science to understand. It is not possible that because at the present moment the number of educated persons are there are many. Many PhDs, GSCs and nobody understands this. So you cannot expect uh, a fair number of persons understanding. Public is with that little hard brain. But even some percent of the population understands this philosophy, then there will be peace and prosperity. Not that every just like in my body, not that every part of my body is brain. But if the brain is in order, there are other parts of the body with actness. The leg is not brain, but if the brain is in order, the leg will move nicely. The difficulty is there is no brain. So without brain, without head, when the body moves, it is ghost. So it is ghostly civilization or ghost. There is a kind of ghost, perhaps, you know, that without head. If a man is chopped up his head, and if he has got attraction, then he becomes a ghost without head. So at this present moment, all the so-called educated civilized men are ghosts without head. You know this, there is some ghost without head. I've heard about it. No, in India they know. And I've described it in the They're always depicted like that quite often in Europe because they used to have the guillotine uh -huh. chopping the head off. I go without head, yes. That is important. At the present moment, without head, ghost. The civilization of ghost, without breath. It is something revolutionary. <laughs> something revolutionary. But this is a fact. Are you doing anything to um, try and contact the people, the educated men? To yes, many. Many educated men. They are coming, trying to understand. But it requires little brain. So called educated to dull brain cannot understand. So to make their brain finer to understand, we are prohibiting four things no illicit sex, no meat eating, no intoxication, no gambling. If one differs from these four prohibited things, then he can develop his brain to understand. And if one indulges in these four things, his brain will never be able to understand. That is it. like a dog uh, having sexual intercourse on the street. So uh, if I request the dog that don't do this, it is not very good. You will never understand. Watch out. Purpose does the chanting, sir. Cleansing. Mm -hmm. The brain cleans cleansing so that one can understand. 
Free to that Panamar. Dreams. We have got so many dirty things within ourselves. By this chanting and following this regulatory principle, it will be cleaned. Then, just like a mirror full of dust, you have to clean. Then you will see your face very nicely. So, this is the process of cleansing the mirror of heart. So, when it is clean, then you can understand, yes, I am not his body, I am soul. My business is defined. That is not. Therefore, we are encouraging people to come here, chant, dance, and take pushat. They will process. But they have come. In the beginning, I had no place to stay. Now we have got hundreds of big, big palaces. Why is it that you seem to attract a large following of youth? Huh? Because my it is fact. It is not a bogus thing. It is not some imagination. By meditation it becomes God. We do not bluff like that. We give education, scientific education, in the books are there. We will find the Bhagavad Gita every day. So here, they are, how to understand God and myself, my relationship? There is no such thing that you sit down fifteen minutes and you become God. There is no such bogus thing. It is science. But I think she was asking also, why are there so many young people? Why are so many young men? Young. They are receptive, and another side is that in the Western countries, the younger generation, they have seen that their father and grandfather are not happy. Is it not a fact? So they are trying to find out something where they will find happiness. As such, they go to so many samis and yogis who come from India. But they are also that frustrated. But here they are finding the real substance. That you can ask any one of them, they will explain how they have come. So I can show you downstairs in our magazine. Uh, there's an article about our India, our program of visiting India. We have very beautiful centers. Mm -hmm. So India, it's not that. Because we're going to India, it's therefore it's an Indian mm -hmm. science. It's not two plus two is Indian or American. Mm -hmm. I've asked everything I'm going to be able to think of. Thank you very much for coming to me. Well, um, yes, we have some. Thank you. Thank you.